All right, today we have One Piece episodes 241 to 244. Remember to check out that Patreon down below if you guys want the full unedited, uncut versions, as well as early access to this show and the other shows I'm watching. Let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into today's episodes. Uh, One Piece 241 to 244. Let's do it. With the toes curled around, supporting both Zoro and Nami's weight is kind of crazy. <laughs> Bro, look at his toes struggling. <laughs> All right, we're clear. Oh, it's Chopper. Thank the Lord. <laughs> You're about to get Luffy killed, Chopper. Usopp's at a timber and hardware store. He's just trying to do anything. He's by himself. He's hungry. He knows the storm's coming. He's doing whatever he can to make sure the Mary's good throughout the storm. I can't tell who the hungry one is. It might be him, big boy. So he's super injured, knows the storm's coming. Is out of money. Is doing whatever he can to make sure the going Mary just at least survives this. Bro, Usopp's going through it. And he's his pride is going to push him through no matter what. You're an absolute legend, Usopp. Love you to death, bud. I do feel bad, though. Aw, going to give us some onigiri? So Usopp is really going through it. This guy was closing up shop, getting ready for the storm, and he took his business and gave him some food. Shout out this random scarred citizen of Water 7. Appreciate you, sir. May may the gods fortune and favor your shop, and may you become a rich man. Let me know if you guys ever have or have had an onigiri. What do you guys like inside? You guys like uh, tuna, some crab, shrimp? For me, it's either spicy crab or spicy tuna. Even though I've never had an official onigiri, I can't lie. You are a ship that flew in the sky. I love how Usopp talks to her. I don't know if the going Mary is a girl or a guy. Luno's bar, what's going on here? Frankie has had enough of the conversations. I can't tell what he's mad at right now. Luffy in general, the foreman for stopping their fight, or... I mean, I get it. I don't know how idiots think either, but I don't know how Kokoro is able to take all that liquor. She's a crazy granny. Even Tsunade gets more drunk than her. All right, so we're having an emergency rooftop meeting to discuss the next step for the Straw Hats. Even if it's on the good or for the worse, yeah. As even whether it's for the worse or for the better, we need to settle this matter. Is she a friend or is she a foe? We need to come to that conclusion. I agree. I know she was talking with CP9 again about re-breaking back into Iceberg's house, so I don't know how that's going to play out. Oh. <laughs> kill him and they're trying to steal something he has who knows how important or what that may be you know it's a good point that's something that i never would have thought about as a fighter going into something where you're not sure whether you're going to be betrayed or not you 
he's going into it purposefully open-minded because if, if, if he's stuck on either side, if the truth ends up being the opposite, that's going to slow him down, make him question, hesitate, doubt, this, that, and the third. But if he's cool, if he's open-minded to either answer, then he's like, okay. And then just goes on, you know, you know, that's something that's just a little background detail I would have never thought about. That's, oh, no hesitation. I was literally just about to say, that's the real question right there. But we already got our answer. Making it sound like she's a bounty right now. We're going to capture her. So we're going to get her and then we'll ask her. All right. I know you will, Chopper. You're the best. Galley Law, here we go. We still have Frankie just scouring off Water 7 looking for us. I'm very curious what role he's going to play in this fight, you know? Is he going to be on our side, an enemy of my enemies, my friend type situation? Is it, you know? Because of their hair. <laughs> They're vulnerable to winds from the front, so they walk side to side. So they know Usopp's alone. I don't like this. Now we're going to be used as Usopp and Robin and Iceberg are both going to be potential traps for us to go into and get ourselves caught up, you know. Alright, so the Frankie boys have a new plan. Kidnap Usopp, bait out the rest of the Straw Hats. Alright, so everyone who's afraid of the Aqua Laguna is camping inside the shelter. We got the entirety of the galley law protecting them outside. Every area you could think of is filled with expert, strong craftsmen, shipwrights, ready to defend their city and people. And then you have the five foremen right there guarding the main gate. I love how they got the legs crossed all gangster-like, you know. Lulu, the bedhead. See, I'm very curious. He knows stuff about Robin. She is the devil. I need to know his backstory or why he thinks that. <laughs> Don't miss the slightest movement. We have uh, CP9 and Miss Robin also about to make their move. Cannot wait to see more of CP9 and oh, that's where it ends. Holy shit. All right, here we go. Next episode, episode 242. Okay, Luffy using logic and sense for once. <laughs> Almost like... <laughs> I know, right? Same thing on their side. Don't miss even the slightest movement. Yeah, let us know when you see Robin, please. I love when Zoro has his talks like that, where he's like, he has certain conversations like that. I love it when he does, you know. This is the true test of us as a squad. You guys see me doing this at all, it's because my shoulder and my neck are absolutely killing me today. Khalifa, send Polly inside. Very curious why. Captain, Luffy, Pirate Hunter Zoro, I love his nickname, Robin, the young woman, Nami, round long nose guy, what's up? They just don't know about Chopper or Sanji yet. What is Iceberg telling Polly? This could be, oh, so some sort of plan, getting ready for something to happen. Okay. All he's willing to do whatever for that boy Iceberg. So, I wonder what he has Polly going to do. 
アイスバーグさんを頼むいいかパウリ社長室のデスクの真下 Right underneath the desk If you lift up the carpet Is that what he's been hiding? A safe Uh huh Oh so Polly knows the combo I'm just afraid someone's already in here watching for the safe You know on some CP9 Robin shit but Okay this is her Transponder snail He's got like a uh, polar bear mask or a bear mask. Talk about sudden movement. Yeah, that was a great question. What caused an explosion? All right, close that door, Tilestone. Be ready to protect Iceberg. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. Don't leave to go after them. You guys are just leaving Luchi and Kaku now. Okay. Oh, so this is one of the four, not the bear guy with Robin. Oh, so he's quick and strong. Oh, is that a whip he has in his hand? Looks like a thorn whip. Okay, for climbing and getaways, that's actually really fucking handy. Who are you feeling like Charlotte? Black Clover? Can't tell if that's a woman or a man. Oh, yeah, sounds about right. Think thoroughly before you take action, you dumbass captain. <laughs> I like how they say that in unison. That's Luffy for you. Are you guys just now realizing that? So it looks like Robin and Homeboy are cornered. Obviously, I'm not worried about them. They're insanely strong. I'm, I'm curious. Do the rest of CP9 have devil fruits or are they just insanely talented, skilled people? Like some of the shipwrights, you know? I would love to see his face as well. Come on. And they're gone. So I'm assuming it has to do with his devil fruit. Same way when they walked past Sanji at the corner of that pier, disappeared. Used cloaks as cover, disappeared. Either he goes through walls or he can teleport or something along those lines. He has definitely some sort of power he gets away. See, and they said, what's up with that whip, man? But he kind of sounds like a woman to me. And they got the heels on? I assume woman. <laughs> Moonwalk. Thorny Road. So it's clear to see these guys are very powerful. But now I need to power scale CP9 to the rest of the ship rides like Kaku. Ollie, I also need to power scale him to uh, the Straw Hats. That's why I was worried about Polly going to the safe. You could easily have someone just watching that room in general, you know? And now you already opened up to him for free. Look at those masks, the darkness. We're the darkness, even though we're a group that carries out justice. Cypher Pole number nine, an intelligence agency. Cypher poll number nine. Now, a cipher is something used to dec decode an encrypted message, right? If I know my intelligence information correctly. So, cipher code number nine. I'm interested in that. That's, that's not what I would expect CP9 to stand for, but they're an intelligence agency. They're sort of like the CIA, you know, where they are in the shadows, but they say they do good things, you know? Even if you know about it, it's so dangerous you have to die. In the name of justice, they're about to kill Polly right now. Oh, as they're literally walking up to Iceberg's door right now. Jesus. I guess technically not his door, his wall. They can just sneak in on some kitty. What's her name, Kitty from X Men? 
he's got the door door fruit is that what it is if he if he can turn into a door wherever you just have to open or close him what in the fuck that's so creative it is literally the door door fruit that's so creative i love that that's crazy So he, uh, he supposed Luffy had nothing to do with it, but he did that to be, to be safe earlier, you know? And he did tell the truth. Of a certain ship? That's what it is? The blueprints? From Tom. Shipwright to disciple, shipwright for generations. Tom. Because he's the disciple of Tom, right? And that's what he did with Polly. This is insane. The blueprints of a certain ship. How OP must the ship be, you know? This guy seems dangerous. How calm, cool, and collected he is all the time. I just don't see how we're able to accept Robin like back and theoretically back into the squad after this. Like she's causing us so much trouble. Okay, going over the fence to follow Luffy in his distraction. And Luffy has not caused a distraction. Are we saying Luffy was... I wanted to jump into the building fast and... Are we being serious? Oh my god, I have fucking claustrophobia, so... Imagine being stuck that tight it gives me fucking... Ew, I hate it. Come on, Luffy. Alright, we are starting episode 243, I believe. Right back to door door man oh shit he is handling the ship rides outside the door he's just gonna see a row of bodies exactly Oh my, yeah, they got fucked up. Oh my, even Hattori's worried. He's sitting there all gangster-like? Kaku and Luchi were insanely strong. See, power scaling wise I want to know more about CP9, how strong they are. Iron body? Or was he calling? I thought he was calling Tilestone Iron Body. What in the fuck? Is that Herculean strength of yours, your pride, and this dude eclipses you like it's. N what the? F Bro. One punch, tile stones out. And these are the strongest, some of the strongest people we've seen up until this point, you know? These foremen. Yeah, I'd be doing the same thing, I can't lie. Is he gonna chase them? Oh! Uh-huh. Okay, they're gonna do the plan Luffy was supposed to do. The three stores, three sword style back of the blade. Shout out Zoro. Yeah, give me more of their backstory. How does he know her? Oh, so she doesn't remember him. Oh no, they haven't met before. 
Did she kill someone close to him or something? Ooh, the four-arm pistol from Robin. I love that little touch. So he knows about the polyglyphs. Since ancient times. Since ancient times, it's been a crime. The only one in the entire world is Robin. And that's exactly why the 80 million was put on her head? I thought it was due to a string of murder she had. But it's because her potential dangerous. Yeah, the ancient weapon, that would make sense, honestly. Such a big bounty for such a small child. Damn, funny looks like that? We mustn't call forth a relic of the past, even though that's all she's gonna do. Oh. That what? On this island, Pluton? A battleship? He has the blueprints? Overwhelmingly powerful weapon. Generation, so Tom, right? Or, I mean... I don't want to miss anything. Tom was the one who gave it to uh, Iceberg. Yeah, Tom was his teacher, his master. Ohara, 20 years ago. As the Ohara Devils? I love the fisheye lens we're getting on both their faces right here during these shots as they're zooming in. Oh, he stopped the, the hammer, whatever that thing is called on a pistol, you know. Her Devil Fruit ability is so strong, it's so unique. Fake blueprints. Fake blueprints. That's why he told Polly to go. Mm. Is he finally going to squeeze out of there? All right, Luffy. Luffy's always late to the party. Now get in there. Was that Polly who took two bullets to his knees? Four bullets to his legs? Oh, okay. This man thinks he's 50 cent with how many times he's getting shot. Like, come on, blood. Because he knew it would be fake and he wanted to save your life. But you sold it even more by staying and fighting, Polly, because you're a legend. Since it's fake. Uh, the whole reason they came was for these blueprints. <laughs> I think so. Praying. I'm hoping so. They still are going to kill him. Oh, that's Luffy zooming in with the rocket. I was like, what am I hearing? And even though Polly was one of the guys attacking us earlier because he thinks we're the ones who did it, we're going to save him right here. I need to see under their masks. Tempest kick? Like he can do wind? Oh. I don't know what that is. Plasma, energy, lightning, wind. I just hear Tempest. I think of like a tornado. I don't know. Oh. Oh, what is he? Oh. I don't know what the f those are. Damn, Luffy got handled. So we have to keep him alive because he still is the only one who knows where the real identity of these blueprints are.
See, this is the power scaling I've been wanting. So, like, Lulu, who is one of the stronger shipwrights foremen we've seen, it's nothing compared to the CP9. But now I'm curious, like, what arc are we going to deal with him? Is this going to be, like, way later, like, the next arc, and he's lobby? I know that's next, you know? Could be this arc, I don't know. At least Polly said that. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> Confidence. I like it. I would love to, Polly. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bullet holes in you. I mean, you could tell from Polly to Lucci to everyone. They were. They respect Iceberg insanely, you know? Doesn't matter how injured he is. Luffy is respecting Polly right here. This is the same thing Luffy would do in a situation. <laughs> oh, he's like, alright, I'll match that energy. This is some true men right here. Atori in here? Oh! Are we so... Is... Is this one of the fucking fakes the whole time Hatori's been betraying us? Wait. 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 Everybody some bullshitters? Khalifa! I liked her so much. She was so hot as a secretary. I... Imagine this. Imagine your whole world turning upside down. What in the hell? How, how long has this been a thing? Is Polly the only one who's not one of them? Because there's four? Is Tilestone one of them? Wait, Blue? No! So it's not Lulu, Tilestone, or Polly, but Luchi, Kaku, Khalifa, and Bluno. Bluno. What the hell? Luchi, Kaku, and Khalifa. Son of a biscuit eating bulldog, bro. What the? All right, we're starting the last step of the sesh. I think this is 244. I've been losing track at this point. Okay, so now with all these twists and turns, I completely forgot Frankie was going after Usopp still. Like, can you not do that and come help us with fucking Luchi, please? I wonder what Frankie's gonna do with Usopp. Cause like even if he did kidnap Usopp and use him to bait us, bait the rest of the Straw Hats back, you know, like we're so busy right now, I don't even think we could leave. <laughs> we have so much going on. I mean, you did have a mask on last time. Yeah, he recognizes the voice. Look how big he is compared to Usopp. As we cut over to Zoro, still handling people in the courtyard. Smooth, well handled. <laughs> Look at Chopper. <laughs> Just enamored. Yes, please get the current updated information that I have. Let's go. Oh my, I can't wait for Polly to see this, you know? He was over here blaming us, the Straw Hats, when it's his boys. Yeah, theoretically, he could stretch all his limbs out as thin as they can go. They'll slide out eventually. I like the way they're doing this. Shout out being rubber. Yes, 
I cannot believe I'm still shocked. Khalifa too, man. He was such a good assistant. Supreme Intelligence Agency. They're CP1 through 8, that's public. But no one knows, no one knows about CP9. I like that. I like the world building behind that. They're able to kill whoever. They have a license. Yeah, they have licenses to kill. They're pretty much MI6. As long as they're the ones in control, you know. I can end the Great Pirate Era? Holy shit. Hundred percent. A nuclear deterrent is never a, a good thing. Of course, that should be common sense. Who trusts the government? Now it makes me want to go back to watch the CP9 scenes with robin and see if i recognize their voices at all i assume it was bluno with him the first time or with her the first time i'm sure your blood will tell us the truth and kaku like have the pulse pulse fruit or something you can tell if you're lying based off your blood so we're back with kokoro and chimney Several decades is kind of kind of crazy. She's been drinking heavily for eight years. I wonder if there's any significance to that. I wonder if something happened eight years ago. Some good thinking to form a hypothesis. I can't lie. And Cuddy Flam. Uh huh. Tom, we know is his master. Uh huh. Damn. See, now I want Iceberg's entire backstory. Only had cutting flam. Eight years ago, Kokoro. Hold on, hold on. Is that Kokoro right there? Did you know that Tom's violent disciple, Buddy Flam, died? And this is Kokoro talking. He used that name. Are we saying it's Frankie? I saw hairy arms. Are we saying it's Frankie? Is Cuddy Flam Franker? Bro, this is actually getting some twisty twists. The pulse increasing as hard as it beating faster bro right, bro this arc okay i can see why you guys are i can see why you guys are fucking with it this is some twist right here only he knew well before <laughs> frankie who's been like just the fucking side goofy villain the whole time is this important that's crazy. 
That was a very ingenious hypothesis. They were pounding blood. That's so crazy. I cannot believe the twists that are all happening right here, bro. This is fucking this is some juicy shit. Bro, I am still shocked that CP9 is the foreman and how smart and strong they are, bro. I cannot believe that. Especially Khalifa. That's still the biggest shock to me. We have Zoro and Luffy. Polly, come. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Don't end right here. So much time we got left. Don't end. I'm begging you. I will beat you up if you end. I'm so glad Polly gets to fucking see this. Yeah, Nami's the only one thinking about the big picture here. What's going on? Bro, this... Like, I can totally see why you guys fuck with this arc, bro. This is some fucking craziness. Bro, I had four episodes of One Piece and didn't write down a single thing. Like, that's just how hooked I am on this shit. We got the infiltration finally happening with CP9 and Robin. I super invested in that and how that's going on but everything that's from iceberg knowing about the pawnee glyphs from knowing that robin is the only one in the world capable of bringing a weapon like that back or deciphering the, the information needed we have the thing that tom passed down to him which was fucking pluton the ancient battleship weapon that was made on water seven also his other disciple cuddy flam who was dead is Frankie the whole time? Like, bruh, this arc is going insane. I don't know how to feel right now. I am loving this. I would like to watch four more episodes, but everything going on with how strong CP9 is, with I love how it's public information that the CP, the cipher, um, cipher pole, whatever it was called, is like the, uh, the CIA of the government. But for us, we have the CIA, Central Intelligence Agency, It'd be like if we had the um, HIA, the Hidden Intelligence Agency, you know, just one that no one talks about, no one knows. Because they're like uh, MI6, they have a license to kill, which is crazy. Um, damn, this is getting real in-depth. I'm, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Uh, otherwise, have a great day, Dabber Squad. I'll catch you in these next ones. Peace out.